Night 8 of the Unibet Premier League, Rotterdam and a Sea of Orange. Would Barney's Army have good reason to celebrate? The huge Dutch crowd was hoping so. Tonight's contender, Dancing Dimitri, would he be showing off his moves? Or could James Wade leave him contemplating life on the big stage? Would this look, plus this look, equal this look, and Menser Mayhem, plus MVG versus Snakebite today? On High Roller Radio. Yes, night eight. And if darts were a color, the game would be orange. All eyes on our headline tilt. Raymond Van Barneveld in his swan song season playing at home against Daryl Gurney. Tonight is about one man is how the PDC was promoting it. All about at Ray Bar 180. Floating on a sea of orange, he tweeted, I won't go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of light. Wow, you think Barney was ready for Rotterdam? He then posted this, Thanks guys means a lot, as a few of his colleagues reminisced about his legendary career. MVG recalling the 2012 Grand Slam, where Barney beat him and then dropped to his knees. Peter Wright's highlight, the first time the two played in Ahoy, the noise and the support he had, said Snakebite. Waiting on the hero, said Mike. Tow the army, the Barney army. Rotterdam was ready, so was at Live Darts. Phil Bars previewing all the action. PDC rigger Martin Leak letting us know it's going to be loud and orange tonight. He then provided a pic of the calm before the storm, an empty arena, and there is the storm. Night 8, baby. Orange, orange, orange. A capacity crowd. Gerwin Price, the first one introduced, he raced down the walkway of few boos, but they certainly weren't raining down. Good shot of the Sea of Orange here for Michael Smith's entrance. Overhead view now as Bully Boy kicked off with the first two, but we got the sly stare in leg three as Price nailed tops to get on the board. Started to find his range too. Nice 180 here on route to two apiece. Smith countered nicely with a break on double ten, but this tops unleashed a lion. The Iceman with the big roar, 3-3 back on serve, the fans on their feet. Smith took the next two for 5-3, but the Welshman here took out 141 to stay close, arms wide as if to say, where has that been? Key moment came in the very last leg. After Price missed darts at double, Bully Boy would get one shot at Bullseye on 90, and yes, bingo, he pinned it. Big, big reaction, a 7-5 victory. Price not happy. Certainly didn't play his best. I'm chuffed I won, Smith said. I'm still here. I'm still fighting. James Wade up against the contender tonight, Dimitri Vandenberg. How would the young Belgian handle the big stage like this? Had fun with it. Showed off his dance moves. Strutted his stuff. Now the music temporarily stopped after two legs in this one. The players left stage at Wade's request. An apparent breeze the problem of affecting flight. Now Wade is going to get booed. The entire game tweeted Henry Cheel. I don't know whether it was wind or not, but Wade clearly wasn't happy with something. Definitely something in it, said Rick Wake. Smith and Price noticed it too. Still chuckling how polite Dimitri is, said commentator Chris Murphy. He's winning. His opponent says, come on, let's get off and he just obliges. Wind or not, Vandenberg and Wade made it rain with quality arrows. Down a break at 2-1, the machine took out 106, a lucky double 13 for all square. Dimitri left backstage pondering, what will it take to win? How about this? A fist pump after he countered with a beautiful 140 checkout. Wade had hit a 180 to leave double. What a shot! He then took out 121 on the bull's his second bull finish of the match as he pushed it to 5-3. But Wade is tough and he's been playing well. He fought back with the next two. Double 10 here for all square at 5. Vandenberg broke for 6-5 and was throwing for the match. But after Wade went 54-54 and missed double 10 for the 1-2-8, he missed a match dart and Wade capitalized. Great match. Wade averaging 104 with 7 
seven one eighties. The contender can play too. Six six your final. That was absolutely brilliant. The follow through of a world champion. Rob Cross playing Mincer Sulovich, and this scoreline after just two legs tells the early story. Two nil voltage playing much better, way ahead on the averages. It went three nil, then four nil on this eighty nine finish. Double sixteen for the confident cross reaction. Menser avoided the whitewash, actually fought back to 5-3. Voltage starting to miss now. Then look at this, double 7 for a Sulovich break, 5-4. Then at 5-5, five, five, the backbreaker. The 1-3-6 for the break of throw and scintillating scenes. Menser enjoyed that one, had fun with the crowd, a few finger points, a headbutt in there. Boom, 1-3-6 out, tweeted the Irish darts fan. What a shot. If he liked that, he absolutely loved this. The Shanghai on 20s to win it. The 120 checkout, incredible. From 4-0 down, he comes back to win it. 7-5. Cross, at one point, was 5-for-5 five five on doubles. He then missed 11 straight. A stunning victory for the Austrian. A cross collapse. John McDonald on the Microphone. You see in the background the Scottish flag. Time for snake bite. Peter Wright having fun during the walk on, but would he have any fun against this guy once on stage? Mighty Mike on the big screen, all smiles. The host nation crowd chanting his name. Wright was not enjoying things early as Van Gerwen broke in the very first leg. He then followed with a 116 checkout to hold. Fist pump, the roar, the usual. He broke for 3-0 and then held for 4 on the spin, averaging 105 along the way. Complete blowout this one. This double 9 made it 5-0 and the look says it all. Tough day at the office for Snakebite. Now he did avoid the whitewash but was dominated nonetheless. He motioned at the end about that breeze, the theme of the night, but it was a breeze for the world number 1 7-1 year final. I was desperate for the whitewash MVG admitted. Peter didn't play well at all on the home crowd this is beautiful he said Michael Van Gerwen tweeted Henry Cheel wow yeah he's the best player in the world by far Steven coming back with they obviously turned off the air conditioning for that one the breeze not affecting Michael whatsoever final match of the night featured the man of the hour Raymond Van Barneveld who of course got the treatment he deserves the VIP treatment the man is a legend a five time world champion champ all of netherlands giving him the send-off he's earned they chanted his name barney's army throughout the arena the big man was introduced the fans paying their respects loudly and proudly what scenes great moments get your cell phones out folks take a picture you won't see this too many times more and then look at this wow rvb taking it all in give the fans credit they enjoyed daryl gurney's walk on too singing, dancing along to Sweet Caroline. And how about this? The pair sharing a moment. Super Chin getting Barney involved. Absolutely brilliant. Forget the match. That was the moment. We can tell you that after dropping the first two legs, RVB got on the board with this double top for pandemonium. Spectators like this urging him on. It just wasn't to be. Van Barneveld needing a win or a draw. He wouldn't get it with this scoreline. Not the way the fans wanted it to end but Super Chin's happy you can make the final 7-1 there you see the night 8 results Smith, Sulovich, MVG Gurney your winners Wade and Vandenberg playing to a 6-6 draw which means this Mighty Mike tops the charts same record as Rob Cross but a head on leg differential Menser's next then Wade and then Super Chin who moves up to number 5 night 8 in two words brilliant scenes today on High Roller Radio.